My family has been in the Charleston area since the 1800s. Mom and Dad moved us to the Isle of Palms in the spring of 1970 from Charleston when I was seven years old. It was an incredible experience growing up on the island, learning how to swim in Hamlin Creek, seining for shrimp with Uncle Ben, and spending time with my grandfather, who we called Pop. At the time, there was no bridge linking the island to Mount Pleasant, and the talk of such was just nonsense. I began drawing images of my uncle's shrimp boats, family fishing boats and marsh scenes at a young age. Those sketches would become borders in a lot of my notebooks as I sat in class and doodled and daydreamed about being on the water. Thanks to my mom, my first experience with painting outside of a regular classroom was in 1975 with Miss Gore, an artist in the neighborhood. I was hooked on painting, but it would be some years before I would return to painting. After graduating from the Citadel, I started a family and began a career as an environmental engineer. Environmental engineering allowed me to make a living, help the environment, protect animals, and spend time in the outdoors. I had my own engineering firm for 15 years or so, and I'm very thankful for that opportunity and what it taught me. In 2001, I received a Christmas gift from my wife for adult evening art lessons with a professional teacher in Charleston. Cindy had found some old paintings tucked away in a closet somewhere in the house, and the idea was formed. She wanted to break the frantic pace of business ownership, and well, it worked. Once classes started, the passion for painting was back. I immediately switched to oil paint because it was so pliable, and it was fun to work with, and it didn't dry very quickly. Years of art classes, workshops, and books that I've studied, yet there's still such a long way to go that I'm having a blast. I just keep working on new ideas and painting whatever my daughter and wife say to paint, and I'm happy when one sells. This is a journey I hope to stay on the rest of my life.